G'day mate and welcome back to Cosmo Deer with me, Jitty. In our previous episode, we managed to get our Zap Zap upgraded to the Zap Zap because um, we upgraded all the cannons. We upgraded all the cannons to the heavy blasters. Uh, also doubled up the shields, went through a little bit of crew management. Just, just, just started on the crew management. Just keep one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Keeping things a little bit simple. Also added a tiny bit of armor around the outside and um, we need to test this bad boy out. Uh, we have to eliminate some roaming pirates also uh today's episode we need to rescue a space station also uh reach a different space station and well they'd really like us to oh oh and there's also the exploration uh quest here which i want to do because they'll actually give us fame speaking of fame actually do we have any more crew we can get no we can't grab any more crew we need to get the fame higher which is fine because um one thing i do want to do is i want to name a crew uh, can i grab a operator and we're going to name a operator after one of our youtube member one of our youtube member who is keeping the channel ad free uh we're going to name them ducton ducton who is well chose to support the channel chose to click not only the like button but also the subscribe button and became a wonderful youtube member which means i don't run any mid-roll ads during these let's plays which um you can thank the youtube members for that uh can i favorite there we go and who was the other one uh remove that uh where's our other one that i need a favorite uh, it is Squareable. Squareable Vaughn Square. Uh, we're going to favorite them as well. That way we can keep whole, or keep an eye on the crew and make sure, well, hopefully the YouTube members uh, both survive. Hopefully. Hopefully. Does, oh, they now show up with stars. Cool. If we see less than two stars later on in the episode, we know what happened to them. All right. So first thing we need to do is we need to take this bad boy for a spin. So we have the rescue station or we have the contact station. We're going to go for the rescue first because why not? We... Our stores are mostly empty. Um, we're only carrying the most expensive stuff, so a little bit of uranium and a few processors, mainly because they sell for a fortune. Uh, our plan for today's episode is, well, a couple of things. Hopefully get a enough crew that maybe, I I, I don't think we're going get, to get a chance to look at a second ship uh, today, but hopefully get ourselves in a position where, well, we can deal with all the pirates. I'm pretty sure we're actually going to deal with all the pirates with our current ship, uh, but I'd really like to finish out the sector. Yeah, I'd like to finish out the sector and get another couple of upgrades. So, new pirate is cannons. Uh, we're going to say cannon go away, cannon go away. Also, I'm uh, going to say reactor core to go away. Oh, 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 actually, very, very important. Uh, these are new cannons. I replaced them, which means they're not set up as a control group. So, we're going to set them up as control one. Uh, also, now we have point defense. I'm going to set all those as control group number two. So, I select all the weapons with a double click and then control one and also control two to select these guys and then if i press one and two on the keyboard i can swap back between weapons which is going to be very important because i want those to not uh be fire at will but fire at target yes uh also they have these particular blasters have an option to fire synchronized or fire alternatively we're going to go with alternatively as for the point defense they can be uh offensive point defense defensive point defense or um Attack and defend. Uh, we're going to go with, for the moment, defensive, but we might change them over to attack and defend in the future. Meanwhile, uh, our little friend over here, the pirate hunter, uh, instigator. Instigator is um, probably about to die very quickly. We have shields, which should block all damage, but it's very close to the front of the gun, so we may take occasionally some damage. I don't think so. I think we're going to be pretty safe behind the shields. Uh, meanwhile, well, the front of your hull is missing, dude. Alright, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mark this corpse and uh, we're going to go into mining and I'm going to say I don't want to mine steel. I want to mine everything but steel. Uh, actually, we're going to a station. No, we're going to mine everything because uh, we're literally heading to a station right now. And we'll just have the crew jump out and pick up hopefully everything and continue on our way because we don't even get halfway there. And right click to make that go away and continue on our way to an unknown signal. Well, no, I don't see it there. Oh, it's a target area. Great. All right. So uh, this is a target area for a, well, a, a contract, a contract that we don't have yet, which is fine because they'll pay us out retrospectively. I, if we, um, oh, okay. So this guy's slightly different. 
uh, slightly different as in going to be a little bit more difficult to play with. Uh, we need to take out the iron beam prison. So this is an iron beam. It fires a big fat laser uh, in a dead straight line. But to change the target, it needs to run through a prison. So we're going to take out this. Now, when I take out this, it's probably going to blow up that at the same time. They both have diamonds in them. I would really, really, really actually prefer to take out... Honestly, the cockpit. If I can get in behind it and take out the cockpit, we will. So I'm going to charge in. That's going to be the only target. Uh, actually, I'll set for that and that. I want to see how well this goes. I'm expecting we could take some serious damage with this one. Because um, we're probably not going to be firing a whole lot. Oh, oh. So it's part of his reverse thrust gone. Our shields are holding so far. They're going to take out the reactor. Yeah, they took out the reactor. Oh, oh, part of the diamond survived. Okay, all right. Uh, the reason I want to do that is if I hit salvage. Uh, diamonds? Diamonds. Diamonds. I'm going to tell us yet until they get out there and break that up. But we should get a diamond, two diamonds. No diamonds. Damn, no diamonds. All right, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. All right, uh, back to trying to visit this station. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not having a lot of luck. All right, so we have uh, this station. It has a laser platform and two pirates. So, you're moving, and... Are you moving? I think you're moving. All right, we're going to go over here. And we're going to try and attack from this side. Assuming that's the laser platform, which I don't need to play with. It can't chase me down, so we're going to ignore it for the moment. Uh, and instead, try and take out the two pirate friends... Uh, which is shooting hard into the station. All right, I'm going to just try and take out their cockpit. Uh, meanwhile, you're shooting lasers, and I think... Well, I think one of you's dead. Uh, uh, we need to take out that as well, uh, which sucks because I'm facing the wrong direction entirely because we left the game running too fast. It's all right, we do good at spinning on the spot. Unfortunately, our tail's exposed to this, but it's uh, preoccupied. Excellent. And then we're going to go for that laser platform, which we'll try and go for the cockpit. Yeah, I don't know how well we're going to do for that. Uh, okay, so we want to put a map marker. Whoop. Map marker where the haywire was, a map marker where the other chap once was. And then hopefully we can come and deal with you. And yeah, about that. Oh, we can't reach it. Okay. Um. Well, look. Cool. Let's solve that problem. All right. Uh. So we're going to scrap everything, including all this space junk around the space station. You know, it may have been part of the space station at one stage, but I would hate. I would absolutely hate if another civilian ship came over here and crashed into this state space debris. That would be very unfortunate. I would feel so guilty that, you know, they crashed into space debris that I didn't clean up. So we are definitely going to clean up uh, everything we possibly can. At the same time, repairs, I would call that pretty cheap. Cool. Uh, that we guess won't fit in the hole. Okay. All right. Won't fit in the hole. We can do something about that really quickly. We're just going to grab a storage... Uh, storage, 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 and I'm literally just going to throw it, well, right there. Yep, that'll do it. And pick up, oh, that picked up everything that was on the ground. Okay. All right, grab all of that then. And we can remove that marker and that marker. And then we can go to the station and hopefully sell off, uh, including our little wingtip. All right, so first off, we have a rescue. Excellent. Uh, then we have a couple of fugitive quests, which we can accept. 
one of which we're going to get paid for straight away. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me any fame, but exploring the area did give me some fame. So, in here, we're going to hire two crew because we can. Uh, as for stuff, I don't need any of that. I don't need... Um, well, any of that, any of that, and I really don't need any of that either. No, we're not going to do any upgrades now. Are we? No. Right, we're just going to sell off everything. Uh, we're pretty happy with the ship, but you know... Yeah, actually, we don't need to upgrade anything yet. Uh, we're just going to keep the uranium and the processors because they are fairly, fairly expensive. Uh, we will remove that, which will then move the goods elsewhere. We will put our armor back, uh, being that plate and that plate. Yep, and that'll be us done. We're all repaired up. We're good to go. We've got one piece of steel in the pocket. That's fine. And now we have a whole bunch of quests, which means we need to... Oh, hang on. Uh, can I talk to you? No. I travelled too far. Uh, exp whoop, explore. Because uh, I want to see how many signals we need. Which is... Explore stuff. Uh, okay, so I need to do 31. 31 items. We've done 20, so I need another 11 question marks. That'll give me a little bit of fame. The other ones aren't going to give me fame, but they'll give me money, and money's just uh, almost as good. Almost as good. Not quite, but almost. That's a question mark. I'm going to bet that is an asteroid. It is a hyper jump beacon. There you go. Uh, that's a fugitive bounty. That's exactly what I want to say hi to. That's a pirate. Let's go for the pirate. See how quickly we can outrun this guy. Well, obviously not far. That pirate's down dead. So I'm going to mark where his corpse is probably still there. And we'll deal with this guy instead. Who is shooting at me with rockets. Thanks, mate. Uh, Alright, we are going to go for... Well, ideally, I, I shoot at the cockpit. Uh, but I don't know how well that's going to work. Alright, uh, actually, you know what? You're firing rockets. We are going to close the range and we're going to swing far to the right. Alright, so same principle as last time. Uh, we, although we have the point defense, their angle of attack, which we can't see... No, I can't really see. Uh, is 120 degrees. So we can shoot out to about here. So I have two options. I either present my flank and hope, hope that the point defense uh, takes out the rockets or we can face the rockets head on. Uh, I think we're better off facing the rockets head on and just accept that the shields will stop the brunt of the rockets. So that's going to be the plan. Uh, oh, you are still alive. Okay. Uh... Um, that changes our point of view down there. Okay. Well, that's going to go into the shields. That's going to go into the shields. Uh, that went straight into the point defense. Yep, there goes that, that airlock. Oh, and the point defense again. Oh, and the shields. And then we blow up the reactor anyway. Alright, so that was more expensive than I would have liked. Uh, but I'm just going to sit in the middle of the rubbish and hit the repair button and put down a marker. And see whether we can find this pirate. That would be it. Okay. Yeah, we don't have enough speed. That's our problem. Our ship's not fast enough anymore. We've, we've done upgrades. And he runs circles up. Circles around us speed-wise. Uh, oh, there's two of them. Oh, boy. Well, from looks of it, they've both found us. All right. So, pirate hunters tend to be a little bit tougher than a normal ship. You are half dead and have a cockpit right at the front. We're going to take out your cockpit. Uh, straight up. Not going to bother messing around. We're just going to take the cockpit straight out by horse fly. Uh, that's your marker done. And this pirate, because we need to do... that. that, that that's five of eight. So this will be six of eight. Uh, who has two guns and... Well, 
the reactor. Uh, and again, we've dealt with these guys before, so we can speed up the game and pop. All right. Uh, one of you is here somewhere. It blew in a thousand bits. That's the problem. Uh, G to grab all the crap. Uh, no, it is all relatively here. Uh, we might just put it a little bit closer. Okay. Uh, all right, on to the next zone. We took zero damage, which I'd like to see. Yeah, more speed would definitely be helpful, uh, as would marking that uranium node so we can come back for it. There's another question mark. Which is... Oh, it's a shippy ship. Uh, you know what? We're going to mark you. We're going to come... No. Can I... Uh, this one will actually name. That's a ship. We're going to come back for the ship. Yes. I want to get these other ones done, and then we'll... Well, okay, fine. We'll deal with you first. Uh, you have... Yeah, we've dealt with you guys before. Straight down the gullet. Oh. Yeah, we're a little bit OP for this sector. Which is fine. I, I I don't mind being too powerful. That, that that that's something I can definitely live with. Uh, easily, very easily. It's being underpowered that I don't enjoy. Uh, hi. Oh, there you are. Uh, hence why I am sharing these 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 ship prints. These can't really call them a blueprint. They're a ship print. Um, so I am sharing these ship prints on Twitter. So if you want to be slightly OP as well, you can always grab the ship print straight off Twitter and, you know, play with the exact same ships I'm using. All right, uh, that's that one done. That's that one done. Let's pop up here and see what this one looks like. So this one looks like another damn rocket ship. All right, so let's try and do this a little bit better this time. Okay, so our plan is we're going to march into here. We are going to instead try the move like that. The problem is that changes my relative direction to that. Okay, all right, that's not going to help me. All right, so we're going to go in. I'm going to aim for that. Uh, I am going to swing the ship in and to the right, and I think our answer is we'll just keep an eye on our ship and make sure that we're facing that way. Oh, that went screaming past. Uh, that one got hit by point defense. Okay, we're going to spin... Crap, I got a rocket coming in from the left and one coming in from the rear to the right. Yep, yeah, because they are homing rockets and they will get you one way or another. All right, let's spin like that. I need to get my point defense spun around that hopefully can hit this rocket that's back here. Or hitting um, here? That's still not a very good option. Uh, meanwhile, are we shooting something? Uh, no, it doesn't look like... Oh, yeah. Oh, let's take out the thruster and then the cockpit. Um. Cool. Okay, that, so that one went in the shield. Where is that other rocket? It's way back there. Alright, let's try harder spin to the right. That'll cop into a shield. That is still worrying and behind me. Point defense. Yay! Okay. So, rocket behind us dealt with. And you just got blown up. And I'm just going to aim straight at that rocket. Straight in the shield. Done. Okay. Uh, boop. Control M for a marker. Okie dokie. And repairs. None! Beautiful. All right. Uh, next pirate. Oh, uh, okay. So again, it is another horse flight. We're just going to come straight down the middle. Just, we've, we've, we've dealt with these guys enough before. 
or we could accidentally miss everything and take out their thrusters. Okay, uh, look, I, I told you they couldn't shoot for shit, uh, but we do have a question mark. What's in the question mark? Uh, that's copper, that's iron, that is a uranium node, we'll mark you as well. And that leads us on to our last node, our last, our last friend we need to say hi to. Uh, that's tritanium, and that's aluminium. Uh, that's also a tritanium. We're going to need a mining ship. We're going to need a mining ship. Uh, there are definitely profits to be made, but um, we also, with our mining ship, need a processing ship. Yeah. All right. So I want to come up here and say hi to you. Which we've dealt with these guys before. It is, well, technically. So you have a disruptor cannon. So we're going to aim for this because there's a chance they're going to put this into defend. The disruptor, there's not a lot I can do about it. It will take down our shields if given the chance. If I can take out his cannons and his laser, well, then his reactor's exposed. So I'm not too worried about his disruptor. So our plan is going to be hopefully uh, take that out real quick. Take that out real quick. Yeah, he's spun, so, but now his disruptor can't hit us. And. our way through all the armor and the auto saves and that is the end of you sir all right with that done um i'm going to well follow play dot to dot and follow the loot all the way back and i'll meet you back at well the secondary ship i think that's probably a good spot to pick things back up because it's going to take the crew a minute to pick everything up oh and damage uh seven steel seven steel yeah all right, I'll see you guys in a sec. We've made it back to, well, our little toothpick. Our little toothpick we found earlier, and our ship looks absolutely ridiculous. I realize that. And what we're going to do is we're going to move across two crew. That's all I'm going to move across to toothpick. Now, toothpick, I want to set them up as a control group. So we're going to set them up as control F2, which means if I press F1, we get zap zap. If I press F2, we get toothpick, which just makes our life a little bit easier. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to turn off the cannon. I don't need the cannon running. I also don't need a reverse thruster. We're not going to have a reverse thruster either. In fact, uh, well, we also don't need a hyperdrive. Uh, can I turn off a hyperdrive as well? Yeah, uh, we're going to have the one crew member just do, well, the bare basics, the absolute bare basics. Um, run the cockpit and run a couple of engines. And hopefully we can fly toothpick uh, F2, whoop, F2 uh, back to the station. At the same time, we're going to have zap zap also go to the station. I have a feeling even toothpick heavily damaged is going to be faster than than um, um, zap zap. Zap zap is definitely having a struggle time. You're a package distributor. Will you sup? Will you chat to me? You will. Right. Can I sell you all of that? Because uh, market prices are very much fixed. And can I? Hello. Yep. I'd like to move here and. Toothpick, you might want to slow down. Yeah, that's a very long transfer. You're better off not doing transfers when you're floating through space. Uh, but I definitely want to sell off what I can, because if I can clear just a little bit of space... Uh, nope, 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 you can't go away yet. I haven't confirmed I've, I've cleared off enough, enough space yet. I have not cleared off enough space. Um, can I put a littler storage in? Okay, can I put in a big storage attached to that? And then remove that. Big storage and remove. Okay, that should all fit. Uh, can I get the crew to go pick up stuff again? That's a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. It should also give us a little bit more speed. Uh, toothpick, go. So Toothpick is rolling around at 50 plus meters per second. And we're rolling in at a bright sparkly 47. We have way more engines, but we also have way more weight. And, um, well, that pretty much pretty much explains it all. Um, we're just slow. We're just slow. So I think the first thing I want to do is I want to get back to the station. And I definitely want to buy a couple of engine upgrades. We've proven our ship is definitely combat ready and combat proof. And, well, can deal with any threats that we see coming um 
which means it's definitely time for a couple more upgrades. Also, we have a crap ton of loot, uh, which means hopefully anything expensive I can just afford outright. Jeez, big, you're running into the side of the hole. Okay. All right, so let's deal with toothpick first. Toothpick, I want to basically sell. Now, there's no good way to just sell a ship a whole. Uh, so what we need to do is, slow down the game. Uh, what I need to do is I need to sell parts of the ship. So I want to sell this. Now, because I didn't make the ship, I don't get a full refund. But if I hold down control, I can get a half refund, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. I don't need the second bunk. I don't need the thruster. Uh, this is a hyperdrive. Now, I could build a whole ship around this hyperdrive if I repaired it, so on and so forth. But because I don't own the hyperdrive, I can't move the hyperdrive. I also don't have a blueprint for a hyperdrive. So we're going to get rid of it. Uh, also going to get rid of... Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to put a crew bunk. Uh... I'm going to put an airlock. Where's an airlock? Airlock, 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 airlock hatch. Uh, crap. Which way is it? Not connected. Oh, because I can't add doors either. Uh. Alright, we're going to repair that airlock. We're going to grab... Grab the airlock. Turn that off. And put that that way. Can I get a bunk? Okay, so there's a bunk attached. Can I get you to attach to, a, to the airlock? No. I have a feeling you could only have a door in one direction. But we'll do that. And we'll do that. Okay, what I want to do is I want to cut us down to the bare basics. Because we're not going to have a cockpit. Don't need a cockpit. I don't need the crew bunk. I technically you're outside. That probably works for me better. I don't need the reactor core. I don't need the fire extinguisher. I don't need the storage bay. Uh, so this becomes our ship. And with our ship, we are now going to abandon said ship. Which means the two crew that were on EVA, uh, Fred, and, Fred and Bill, are now part of this crew, hopefully. Yep, there we go. They're coming home. And then we're just going to salvage whatever's left. Yep, yeah, uh, that is the best way to deal with a ship. Also gives me the highest refund value because I sold everything at 50% value rather than salvaging it for 25% value. All right, next thing we want to do is actually I want to talk to the station first and we want to just cash in some money. Just a little bit. Uh, Hyperium, 20 Hyperium. Do I have 20 Hyperium? I have zero because I already sold it. And gold, I don't think I have any gold either. Nope. Okay, all right, uh, so before we get into the meat of that, I want to buy a couple of upgrades. First thing I want to upgrade is an engine room, if you have the tri-steel. You have six. And how much do I need for an engine room? Nine, okay. I buy an engine room anyway, and we're also going to buy a huge thruster. Uh, anything else I want to buy? No, uh, but I do want to use what parts we have to modify the ship. Now, ideally, I'd like to put in an engine room, but let's just attach you somewhere. Oh. Um, can I just remove something so this works? Okay, no, they do have enough tri-steel. Okay, all right. So uh, now we know that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. We know we don't want those things. What I do want to do is I want to put an engine room in. So an engine room increases the horsepower of adjacent thrusters by 50%. Also acts as a central delivery point for uh, adjacent thrusters, which crew can deliver batteries without having to travel to each one individually. So rather than me having five, six, seven, eight engines, whatever it happens to be, the more engines I can attach to the engine room, the less deliveries we have to do. Uh, it does not... Oh, it does require two crew. So what it makes up for in saving deliveries, it's going to cost you a couple of crew that are going to be stuck there permanently. That's okay. We can live with that. So what I want to do is... Uh, I want to buy one more blueprint, it turns out. If we're going to have a problem with command. Uh, which is... We're going to buy that one? No. Uh, rocketry. Uh, we're going to buy a control room. Okay. 
All right, so back in here, and let's talk about our cockpit. So our cockpit is uh, command points, 50 command points. Command points are required to attach engines, attach uh, defenses, attach offenses. Everything has some sort of command point cost just to keep things fair and reasonable. Uh, like a heavyweight versus a well, lightweight versus a heavyweight championship, you know, the, the weight class, the weight class. Uh, so we have a cockpit. Cockpit is what the ships normally come with, and that gives us 50 command points for one crew and one power per minute. A control room gives us uh, three crew required, but 250 command points. So a lot more command points, five times as much. Catch is three times as much crew, but also power usage two per minute compared to this that has a power usage one per minute. So I want to do a couple of things. Uh, first thing is we're going to woo, press the wrong button. We're going to reach into the hull and I'm going to pull everything from there back a couple of times. All right. I want to change you out for a control room. That's going to be probably the first thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to leave ourselves a little bit of a gap so our uh, workers can path around the top. Uh, we're happy, very, very happy with the reactor right there, but I do want to change these engines out for an actual engine room. Because we have an actual engine room, I need to now attach thrusters to the engine room because it's going to be more effective, more efficient. Uh, I'm going to cut those, cut those there. Uh, also, it also has that 50% bonus to thrust for every... Uh, and power for every uh, thruster attached. So we're going to have there. Uh, mirror, please. Can I have... No, I can't mirror. Because everything's going to be off center. All right, so we're going to have two thrusters. I'm also going to have two big thrusters left and right. This should give us a good good maneuverability to swing the ship around uh, very quickly and very easily. At the same time, I'm going to put a huge thruster here. Main reason being that it's um, three tiles. Three tiles width, so it mesh meshes in neatly with the engine room. I also don't need these doors anymore. So we don't have to have workers come directly into each one of these engine rooms or each one of these um uh each one of these engines anymore. They can just come straight into here. I am gonna move the door to one side because crew need to access and hopefully they're gonna come from that dorm into here and then just live in here. We need to keep that in mind and make sure, well, once our operators are in there, they're gonna stay in there permanently. Uh, any other changes I want? I wouldn't mind some rear point defense, but I don't really have a good way of doing that unless I pop everything out of tile. Uh, well, first off, I don't, no, I, I don't want those there. Uh, we'll remove those. Um, so if I pick up all that and I move it out of tile, we'd obviously move that out of tile and that out of tile. And then obviously that storage get upgraded slightly. And then I could put a defense, point defense. I could put a point defense here. Okay, we're going to put in two point fence. We're going to put in one there. Ah, uh, no. There. It's sort of you know, one is blocking the other. Uh, actually, what happens if we put it on the sides? What happens if we put it? Yeah. Hang on. If I put. So you put that that way. And then we'll put you that way. I like that. I like that much more. Okay, and we're going to pick you up and shove you... Actually, shove it in closer. Doesn't really make too much of a difference. Yeah, let's do it that way. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need any of that. Oh, we don't need that. We... Oh. Uh, I do need a door in here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of point defense, uh, which is going to breed a little bit of armor. Can I turn that on, please? A little bit of armor there and there. Sure. Uh, this is all scrap from the other ship that we still need to pick up. And now we have enough room for crew to path around that correctly. We could just put a little storage on this side. Actually, what we might do is we might pick you up and turn you that way, pick you up, turn you that way, and then I'll put a storage there. 
yeah, I like that idea. Uh, okay, so that is everything. Yes, okay. Uh, we're three try steel short. Okay. Which implies the station doesn't have try steel. Okay. So we'll pull. We'll swap you out for a large thruster uh, for the moment. And if we turn on the mirror mode, that should be in the center of the ship. And we don't need that. And we're actually getting 200 steel back. We're getting it a refill. Which means it's not going to fit in the hull. Which means we're going to chat to them. And I'm going to say, hey, you. Can I sell you, well, all of that. Plus a mm, reset. All of that. Plus, well, a bunch of that. And try steel, try steel. No, the try steel that they had five seconds ago is all gone. Okay, uh, in that case, we'll just sell everything, go for the trade, and hopefully the other stuff comes back into stock real soon. And I need to pick up all of that stuff. Cool. And then initiate another trade. And double check. Try steal. No try steal. Uh, we're going to keep the processes and the rich uranium. Yeah, I don't want to upgrade the reactors yet. I think that's a little bit overkill. Okay. And with that done, hail them again. And we will sell off that. And that's it for the moment. Okay. Alright, so with that done, is there any other changes we would like to make? Uh, first off, I want to check the crew. We have the operators, edit the role... Uh, job priorities under here. Engines. Engine room. Number 10, please. Alright. And operators are there and there. And you have two blue guys. So what I want to do is really... Uh, oh, and we have some... Oh, and we have some red guys up there. So we're going to set you two to operators. Okay, that takes over that job and that job. And we don't have any extra crew we can get. No. Okay. So. Oh, they're blue. They're all blue. And you need two crew. Okay, so it looks like we've got all our crew covered with operators. Don't forget, the operators, they they never leave the, the where they're stationed. They just sit there all the time and do as they're told. So we should be fine. And more importantly, uh, we have unknown signals to do. And uh, that's about it. And how fast do we go now? 84. I sort of, in hindsight, really wish I put some armor at the back. Yeah, but I was waiting on that try steel. Uh, and a side interest. Yes, we spin fine. And do we strafe? Yeah, and we strafe reasonably quickly. All right, so uh, that is going to be our ship upgrades for today. Uh, it's also going to bring us to the end of the episode. Uh, our little zap zap machine has got yet more upgrades. It moves faster. It still has plenty of lasers. It has a bit more point defense around the rear. Uh, it's still called the zap zap. Might not be able to break before slamming the stations, but that's perfectly fine. But that does seem like a really good spot to end the episode. It also means that between episodes, I'm probably going to go off and do a little bit of wandering around and seeing, uh, seeing what, whether we can fight all the question marks. Because um, that's really all that's left in this sector. Maybe there's more quests over there, but we'll find out in the next episode. Because I, I just don't have enough crew. I don't have enough crew yet to start a separate factory ship. I want to start a factory ship, but we need... Uh, probably five more crew. I think at the very minimum, five more crew. So, uh, yes, I will leave this episode here. As always, uh, we'll remind you guys that over at Twitter, you will find a lovely uh, post that, that links you and tells you about this particular episode. We are still trying to move forward. Yeah, we're ramming into the station. Uh, we'll tell you about this episode. We'll also have the blueprint for this particular ship. So if you want to grab this ship, play with this ship, test out this ship yourself... 
Stop across at Twitter and that shouldn't be there. Uh, stop across at Twitter, grab the blueprint, install it for yourself, give it a play, give it a whirl, tell me what I can prove, and tell me um, what you would change. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode, hopefully with a few more crew. All right. Thanks, thanks for watching. Bye.